Yes, people, what are we saying? Today, I'm gonna to tell you and show you, with results, how to make $100,000 per month consistently with Facebook ads. And it's easy, telling you the truth. Most people are thinking about Facebook ads, TikTok ads, Google ads, completely wrong. Things are different now, and these are just distribution platforms to put your advertisements out. If you get a few certain things right, everything else is literally plug and play. It's a template, anyone can do it, and it's super easy, and it's getting easier and easier. And then you can scale to $100,000 per month, again, easily. So what are the things you need to get right in order to do this? Number one, the product, the offer, the marketing angle, and most importantly, the creatives. If you get these things right, you can get mad results with Facebook ads, TikTok ads, and it doesn't even matter if you know how to do them or not. Obviously, the structure is there and it's repeatable, but if you get the core things right, everything else is easy. So in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down what makes a good product offer a marketing angle. I'm gonna show you clearly and give you an example. Super important. The content creation system that I created and why it's more important than Facebook ads itself. And then finally, the simplest format and structure on how to get to 100K per month with the Facebook ad strategy. I built it all out in flow diagrams and it's pretty valuable. Obviously the template's easy, it's repeatable, but I've made it super simple so anyone can do it. So if you get the fundamentals right, you can scale to $100,000 per month. This is me not, I'm being serious. So this is an action-packed video, it's pretty valuable, so I would suggest get your notepad, get your pen and lock it in. If you're probably wondering why do you wanna to listen to me, I just scaled up another store to $100,000 a month last month. I've also done this multiple times. My biggest month I've done in e-commerce is $400,000 a month, and I actually exited that company. But quickly, let's dive into the results of the brand I just scaled last month to $100,000 per month. So as you can see, we did 83,000 pounds, which equates to about $105,000, which we did last month. You can see this was all legit. I'll literally refresh it. And profit, this was literally $38,000 profit um, with like a five row ads on Facebook ads. Really good a really good ROAS, and this is all Facebook advertising, nothing else. Pretty consistent, and why did this happen? Offer, product, creatives, and marketing angle. It's not about the Facebook ads. Facebook ads are easy. Again, it's a distribution. Get the fundamentals right, and everything else will follow. So, I'm gonna be going off my Google Doc I've written out, as you can see here. It's pretty, pretty simple, but there's a lot of information, and I like to write everything out. These are raw videos with value. This was the intro here that I just done. This was my results. And the next stage is we're gonna get into the foundations of scaling to 100K per month. Quickly, if you're watching this video and you would like to work with me and my team, you can book a call below. We work with people starting, scaling and exiting stores. Um, all the details are below. Let's get into the video. The foundations of scaling to 100K a month with Facebook ads. It is easy if you get these three things correct. Think of Facebook ads or any other ad platform as just a distribution channel. What's important, the product, the offer, and the marketing angle. A new person started working with me this week and they showed me a basic fashion store. So simple, man. Products from AliExpress, basic ads. Honestly, it was the most simplest thing. And they just started testing in the USA market with like a five row ads. And then we started working together and I got them to like a nine row ads. Why did it work? It had a marketing angle, an untapped group of people. This audience is looking to buy goods in their niche and there is a lack of people selling these products. It was an untapped market. What was the result? It was an instant four row ads with the wrong Facebook ad structure. So again, the Facebook ad structure and strategy doesn't matter because the fundamentals were there. So why did it work? He found a winning audience that was untapped and presented a store selling the products to the people that would wanna buy them. So again, it goes back to the foundations. He got a product, he has an offer and he has a marketing angle with the right creatives, market it to the right audience and everything else was easy. The results came in, the profits came in. He was spending $100 a day and when we reconfigured his account, he spent $150 and made like 1.8K two days ago. So like more than a 10 row ads. Super easy. And I'm gonna break everything down and give you the source completely. What is the key point? There are riches in the niches. Let me explain. This is how I made my money, doing over $3.4 million in sales. My friend Mitch, who just sold his company for just under a million dollars and scaled to like 2 million in 12 months. Again, this guy who's just come to me now with a new store. There's a riches in the niches. What are the examples of this? What are the examples of a winning audience now? What do I mean by this? 
So I'm gonna show you a prime example right now. So I often use exploding topics to find niches and this was a trend that I found, Mom, Mum Cozy. It's gone up by 9,700% in the last five years. Look at this peak. So if you look now, the search volume for this is absolutely insane. They get 90,000 visits per month just from their brand name. And what is this? This is a niche, this is a niche and I found the store. So what do I mean by there are riches in the niches? So this Shopify store, it could be dropshipping, they could have started with dropshipping, has found a niche that was untapped and people weren't marketing to it. So you've just got to do the same thing. And it is the mum niche. So people who are having newborns, about to get pregnant or have had a baby. It's a massive niche. Most people have babies, it's a massive market. And at some point in their life, these people are gonna be buying these products and want them and need them. So what do they do after finding this winning audience? They provided a store selling all the products essential for this category of people. Pregnancy pillow helps with people who are pregnant when they want to sleep. Bras solves a problem there. Feeding, baby care. So it has every single product for this audience of people. This is exactly what I did with my own store that did $3.4 million in sales, which I exited. We targeted a niche and we presented them with the products that fit all of their needs within an untapped market. So they've hit pre-birth, existing birth, and after birth with all the products. So that's a massive market, especially in the USA. What is that like? Close to 400 million people in the USA. And at some point, pretty much most women are gonna be having babies. This is gonna print because most people are gonna be ordering more than one product. For example, if it's $50 cost per purchase, someone might spend $400 on product getting everything. It's a one-stop shop for a specific niche. And this is exactly, I go back to the person who came to me a few days ago and we started working together. Exactly what he's done, he's found another untapped market and he's presented a niche of products within that. And he came to me with a four row hours and we're already hitting it over 10 row hours with a reconfiguration of his Facebook ad account. Again, if you wanna work with us, you'll start and drop shipping, the link's below. So what are other ways you can find these niches, these products, these stores? And that is Minia. Minia is an ad spy tool. So you can find existing stores, with the ad spy tool. And this works because another technique that works really well is finding what is working and make it different. So if you can find people who are scaling stores at the start and they're getting sales, etc., it will be a good opportunity to hop on that as long as it's not saturated. With this, you can do that as well. So you can look at Pinterest ads, TikTok ads, and Facebook ads, and you can see the winning products that other people are running. So for example, let's look on TikTok, weekly winners, boom. Necklace, okay, this is a winning product. It's got 38.7 million views. It means it's performing well. So we found a good winning niche of jewelry and what can we do? We can attack it with a different market and angle and present it to an untapped market of a winning audience. This is good for market research and I would suggest this tool. If you find an untapped audience and products you would like to sell, how can you find the products to supply them and fulfill them? We've been working with AutoDS, um, absolutely insane platform and this pretty much takes out every single problem when you're starting off instead of dealing with AliExpress. You can get cheaper products and Auto DS will fulfill all your orders for you. If you find a product, you can put in a source and request and they can find the product. Again, cheaper than AliExpress. You don't need to deal with the Chinese suppliers and you can get quick shipping at the best rate. So this is an all-in-one platform for drop shipping. So if you're starting off, I would suggest signing up with Auto DS. I have a link below and yeah, it's a great platform. Everything you need in one space. I would advise to do it. They've got a marketplace, dashboard, and you can pretty much manage your whole business here. Like I said, again, if you source the product, they will fulfill all your orders for you automatically. And you don't need to be placing orders manually with AliExpress. So it's saving you time, money, everything. Perfect. So we went over what is the riches and the niches, what is an example of a winning audience, and hopefully now you understand. So what is the next thing? The content creation system. And I've written not much here because it's easier to explain. Scale your Facebook ads with creatives, not the ad structure. Obviously the ad structure is important, but focus on the creatives. If you test within the creatives and look at the data of the ads, that's how you will get more money, more profit, and more revenue. This is how you should be thinking. So let's dive in to my content creation system. When you are testing creatives and launching with Facebook ads, you need to create advertisements, right? So if you're new here or if you're advanced, let me break it down quickly. When you are testing a product, you need to make advertisements, UGC, video ads, image ads, depending on your product, whatever will work better. How do you know what works? You need to test creative. So test in batches of creatives, optimize and repeat. So what we're gonna do, when we're launching a product, I wanna create 10 to 20 creatives of that product to chuck stuff at the water. You don't know what works, but we need to figure out what works. Make more ads. The biggest problem I see people doing is, let's say you're a beginner, you don't have a clue how to do this, that person will create free advertisements. 
free. How is that going to work? You don't know if it's going to work. You've never done e-com before and you test three ads that were probably terrible. You need to be testing 10 to 20 ads in a batch at least when you're starting off, even up to 100. When I was scaling my store to $400,000 a month, I was testing 150 creatives per month to get the best out of it. So what is the process? This is more important than the Facebook ads. Create with a batch of ads. Test these ads for three to seven days. Any ad that is winning, scale it. Any ad that is not performing, turn it off. Any winning ad that is performing well, the next stage is to create new variations of the performing ads. Continue running the winning ads. And once you go down the cycle, the ads that you've been creating variations of and variations of will be so optimized, they'll be creating massive amounts of profits and you can scale to new heights. When you get a winning ad, create new variations of the winning ad. Again, test that. If it's performing bad, turn it off. If it's performing good, continue running the winning ads and then create again new variations in the winning ads. So you've got a funnel of optimizing new ads constantly. And then what do you need to do to repeat the process? Create a brand new batch of ads that are brand new, like a blue ocean set of ads. And again, optimize those ads over the coming months. And you're continually testing and making new creatives and marketing angles to scale your products. This is one way of scaling your audiences and revenue, other than adding new products to the website. So what is the ad creative structure? You have these types of ads, video edits, UGC edits, and image ads. These are the components of the ads that you can change for the variations to optimize the ads. You can change the song, the offer and copy, the video structure and product footage, and so on. Or for a UGC edit, you can change the video, you can change the voiceover, and you can change the offer and copy. So one thing we would do with our Facebook ads is if you have a retail store, you would do seasonal sales, Black Friday, Christmas, Valentine's. You would then optimize your best creatives that were performing the best and change the offer and copy and change the sale continually, but you're using the same ad across the year, just with different offer and text. This will keep the ad account fresh and you can continue to scale. And in the back end, what I'll be doing is I'll be testing a brand new batch of creatives and scaling them up. Again, always optimize and always test them. Creatives are king. Content is king. That's the way to look at it. Creative variant testing, how does this work? So let's say I launch a batch of video edit ads. I launch three, two do not perform. These ads did not perform, so I've been stopped running, which means the creative structure, product or copy or offer isn't working. So you need to understand the components again. Add two of the video ad, it's got five row ads. What does that mean? This ad is performing well. So there's certain components of this ad that are doing really well. So what we're we gonna do, we're gonna create three variations of this winning ad. So we're gonna create 2.1, 2.2, and 2.3. Each one, we are changing one component of the structure of the video. So in ad 2.1, we kept the same song, we put a new offer and copy, and we kept the same product or video structure. Add two, 2.2, we added a new song, same offer and copy, same product and video structure. Add 2.3, we did a new product, a new video structure, kept the same offer, kept the same song. So each new variation of this ad, we are testing a new ad and we know which is the best performing bit of this so it, we're now testing new components of the ad to continually build on top of these video ads so what is the basic breakdown the better performing ads have now been selected break down the creative in each component of that ad which have caused it to be better the next step would be to create variants with different components keeping at least one of one of the components of the performing creative the same so you have a baseline to go off check the creative feedback loop on how to consistently keep creatives fresh and maximize the usage out of the content. So let's say you did one video shoot and you got loads of creatives. You could create from one video shoot, 20 creatives or one advertisement, 20 creatives because you can keep switching up the variations with the editing. This is the creative variant testing structure. And this is how you need to be running your ads, creative based testing. So let's get into the Facebook ad structure. I'm gonna go over my flow diagram and then I'm gonna show you the ad account and I'm gonna show you how to do this. It's so easy. Once you get the fundamentals right, it's not even funny. Like, I'm not even joking. Literally two phases, testing and scaling. If we want to get to $500,000 a month, $400,000 a month, there's more to it. But at this stage, it is literally testing and scaling. That is it. So what is the testing structure? And let's get into it. You only want one testing campaign, just one. You don't want to be creating new campaigns. You don't want to be creating new ad sets within new campaigns to test new things. One testing campaign, that is literally all you need. Every time you wanna test something new, you would open up a new ad set within that testing campaign. So we're gonna call this the ABO testing campaign. What are the general rules? You wanna be testing in one country, you wanna have one interest per ad set or broad, leave most details off, keep advantage plus smart audiences off, low budget testing, 
10 to $50 per ad set. 10 if you've got low budget and you're just starting out. $50 per ad set if you're a running store, or you're profitable and you're doing big numbers. Normal budget testing is 20 to $50 per ad set. Obviously, if you've got super low budget, I'll do $10 per ad set. Two to five creatives per ad set, which is here. So general rules for ads. Test in batches of two to five creatives. Test the copy, test the ad types, test the offers, test the product types. New store protocols. You must find a working interest creative or product. On each test, when launching ads, you must be testing one thing. If testing one product, phase one could be testing different interests with four variations of creatives per ad set, but all variations of the ads are different on each different ad set. So the only difference in the test is X, which is each interest. You must only have one difference per ad set when you're making tests, because you otherwise you cannot compare the data. For example, testing one product find an interest and product verification. So if you've got one product, a woman's dress, we would have four different ads. We would duplicate the four different ads. Batch of ads is the same across each ad set. Only difference in the ads is the interest. So this one be women's clothing interest. This one be online shopping interest. This one be women dressing, dresses interest. And from that, we can find out a winning audience to test our products within the women's dresses niche. Okay, once you find a winning audience slash interest, or broad, then you can start testing different creatives, different offers, different texts. So you need to do it in formats. Phase one, we test interest. Phase two, we test video ads versus image ads. Phase three, we test offer and creative and copy. That is how you break it down. What is the goal of the testing ABO? The goal of the testing ABO is to find winning products and creatives and then put them into advantage plus scaling. That is literally it, testing and scaling, two sections. Once you have winning creatives for your product and offer, all you need to do is duplicate those ads into advantage plus campaign. You start with $100 per day and you can scale this up to $1,000 per day if you're profitable. If it's really profitable above a three to four hours, you can double the budget. If it's 20% profitable, you can increase the budget by 20% daily. General notes, one country per campaign. Most of your budget should be in advantage plus. And literally, you can have up to three to eight creatives per the Advantage Camp Plus campaign. Even if you have two performing creatives, you can put them in the Advantage Plus campaign and it should be super profitable. Let's have a look at the ad accounts and let me show you exactly what I mean. So this is one of the ad accounts we've been working on. And as you can see, the average ROAS for the last 30 days is a 6.15 here. We're getting a 4.5 there, 12 ROAS there, 14 ROAS there and a 6 ROAS there. So this is absolutely insane results. And let me explain. So. This is the ABO testing campaign. And within that, we do test, test, test. We test at 50, 30 pounds per day. This was increased because it was doing well. And we would make the decisions by running these testing campaigns for three days. Anything performing in the testing campaign, I would sort by purchases. Anything that has the most purchases and has a good ROAS, for example, these three. Bosh, Bosh, Bosh. I would duplicate these into the Advantage Plus scaling campaign. That is it. So this is the Advantage Plus scaling campaign. It's got multiple creatives in it. At the moment we're running, I think nine creatives in there. And all we would do is test creatives, test products, test offers in the testing campaign within new ad sets. Every time we wanna test something new, we would duplicate it into the Advantage Plus scaling campaign. So what is the setup for the ABO testing campaign? Manual sales campaign, and we just add ad sets with different things. So what we were testing here we were testing creative, so we already found the winning audience. We already found the winning product. Now we were testing new creative. So as you can see, these were the differences in results. And the best performing creatives within these, doesn't matter. We go to ads again, like I said. So out of these results, what am I gonna put into the Advantage Plus campaign? This is gonna go in there, this is gonna go in there, this will go in there. This will go in there, 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 this will go in there. These are all ads that can go into the Advantage Plus campaign. As you can see, the rest did not make it. And I would put it into the Advantage Plus scaling campaign. For example, last month, this was at four ROAS. So what could I do? I could double the budget. So what I would do is I would literally go to the budget here. It's £300 per day. I could scale this up to £1,000 per day as long as the ROAS stay consistent. Every day, if it's profitable, I'd scale, and vice versa. If it's unprofitable, I'll scale down. So, what are the key aspects? Content is kin, king. Test and scale with creatives, product and offer. The main thing you need to get right is the product, the audience, and the marketing angle. Get that right, everything else is super easy. Make loads of content and test it with Facebook ads. Yeah, if you wanna work with me or the team, you can book a call below. We can start you off from zero and scale you up within six weeks. Start in your own dropshipping store finding the products with you, 
building it and scaling it. Or if you've got an existing store and you want us to scale you up to 100K per month or further, or even exit your own company, click the link below and book a call. Peace.